Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the MCDU in the Phoenix A320 the easy way, using Simbrief integration. If you've just loaded into your flight and you don't want to spend 20 minutes typing everything by hand, well, this is for you. So, let's get into it. Now we are in the flight deck. A couple of prerequisites for this. You need to have power, so ground power or APU. You need to have the IRSs aligned. So the aircraft knows where it begins. And you need to have your Simbrief username in the EFB settings tab so that the Phoenix aircraft can communicate with Simbrief and load the flight plan into uh, the MCDU. First thing we're going to go is to Atsu, ALC menu, flight init, and just quickly um, before we go further, the keys to the left, these are called left soft keys, you've got left soft keys 1 to 6, the keys on the right, these are the right soft keys, right soft keys 1 to 6. We're going to go ahead and press right soft key number six. And this will give us our initial data. And you will see this will then become populated. So we are easy 45 Quebec Delta, flying from my favorite airport at Bristol, flying to my second favorite airport at Edinburgh, without alternative, and the estimated time en route. Now we got that, we can then move on to the Enet A page. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go to right soft key two. Press that. This will fill out the initial route and the top line of the MCD, which it has. You can go ahead and enter your flight number. Can't remember what it was, but we're going to just make it up four five. You back Delta. That can go in left soft key three. Cost index you will find on your flight plans. So I'll just quickly load that up. We're going to fetch that from Simbrief. So it is cost index here is 21. We'll input that and press left soft key 5. And the cruising flight level is flight level 260. We'll enter 260 and left soft key Oops. Okay, we're then going to go come across to left soft left soft key four. We're going to press that. We are going to request the winds. I'm going to do one more time. And then we're going to uplink insert. So we'll right soft key. This. this will tell the MCDU all the wins for what we need. Okay, coming up next is something I should have done at the start, really, but we're already into this tutorial now. We're going to go across to the EFB by pressing Ctrl and 3, and we're going to tap to import from Simbrief. Once that's loaded, we are going to go to Mass and Balance. And we are going to load the aircraft. Now you can use GSX if you've got GSX, the real time, the fast time. But for just for this tutorial, we're going to go to instant. The aircraft is loaded. We have the planned cargo, we have the planned passengers, and we have the planned fuel. And now send that to the MCU. Going back and pressing Control 1 to get back to the MCDU. You'll see it's already loaded some data. We're now going to go to performance, right? Back to init and the next page. And you'll see now that all the zero fuel weight, the zero fuel weight, center of gravity, block fuel, and all the other information has now been loaded. Moving across then to the flight plan itself. By pressing the F plan, FPLN, 
you'll see it comes up now with the root. Now at the moment we don't have a star. Very Sid. We're just confirming on sim brief or if you get ATC giving you clearance. So in this case it's the Brecon 1 Zulu departure runway 09. We hit close that down. Left soft key one. I'll have to go back if you missed that. Left soft key one for select the departure. Then left soft key one again. You know it's runway nine. And we know it's Brecon one Zulu. So left soft key two again to select that one. Then we can temporary insert. And using the arrow keys just to scroll down the flight plan. Looking for any discontinuities. There are none right now. That is okay. We then go to performance. And in here we set the V speeds and the EFB will do that for you. So control and three. I'm going to go back to the home page, departure performance. I'm going to sync the load sheet final. We're going to sync the weather. You know it's runway nine. It is, it is dry. Fine. So we can calculate that. Give it a second. And then we can send that to the MCDU. Back to there now, and you'll see we have V speeds. Transition altitude, flap setting with the pitch. And that is that done. So we'll just quickly go through and just double check everything. We have a flight plan to where our star will begin. In this case, it will be in PIP. We would do the same thing, going back to the right so left off key six and you could select arrival if you know what the arrival is sim brief initially has told us that it will be a in pip in p one echo on runway two four so we go the runway two four using the left soft key four and then using the arrows we find that star there it is left soft key three and then we insert that and again we just scroll down the flight plan is looking for any discontinuities. That's taking it all the way down to the ILS on runway 24. And that is pretty much it. So we've got the flight plan. Okay, we've done both init A and init B. Okay, we have the takeoff performance already all set. And we are down to we've got the fuel and everything else is set. And that is a real quick guide for setting up the MCDU in the Phoenix A320. If, you've, if I've missed anything, or if you've got any questions, then please leave them in the comment. And as always, like, subscribe and all that jazz. And happy flying. Bye-bye.